Hopkinton Health Director Sean McAuliffe was back on HCAM's Hopkinton Hangout Hour this week to talk COVID-19. You know, when people are calling it out, you know, it it they're, they're, they're doing you as much of a, a favor because you don't know who you might be passing that right. you know, has been dining without their face covering and um, might be positive. And again, it's, um, it, you know, when you when you get outside of Hopkinton, I mean, we're averaging about t- somewhere between twenty and forty cases um, a week. Uh, yeah, about about twenty, at least twenty cases a week. We're at, you know, we were discussing um, it changes so often. We're at uh, seventeen or something. We're at three hundred and twenty three cases today. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you know we've had a. That's a big jump. We've had a hundred and what, right? One hundred and eighty-three cases since September twenty-first. Uh, yeah, and and we're doing well. That's the you know, like you you go to some of these smaller towns around us that are red, they they've got 20, 20 to forty cases a day. You know, Framingham where I live, you know, we're they're seeing seventy-five cases a day. I mean, it's you just you don't know where you're gonna get your right. exposure. Now and this now this year is of course one of the big increases that we're still feeling from the Thanksgiving holiday. Yeah. Right. And and then it's people like, you know, well, I just got my my kid just started this sport. And I'm like, but you know, like I, I, I played every sport except for football and basketball in in high school. I get it. Yeah. Um, but I'm like you know, you you can't you can't enroll them in an activity like that, and then not expect you know them uh, yeah, to, they, they, to run the risk of getting pop, be, pop, yeah, testing positive. One thing Sean recommended is do your best to stay home as COVID spreads rapidly throughout the area. It, it and, and again, it's. It's why, you know, we, we just need to impress upon people. Stay home. Um, if, if, if you got anything, if, if yeah. obviously if you lost your sense of smell and you can't taste anything, but if you think you have allergies or whatever, it's probably COVID. Um, and you just need to stay put until you can go get tested. And um, it, I mean, and I... You know, as, as again, as we were talking, you know, my, my daughter was exposed. Um, we, you know, I got her tested right away. Um, my wife and I both tested negative, but then I went and got my, my youngest had had um, just a couple odd symptoms. And I'm like, I'm not going to take the risk. I, I, I know exactly what her exposure was, but I went and got tested just to be on the safe side right. because Right. Yeah, you're not gonna know otherwise, and what? Why wait for the symptoms? No, and I, I don't want to. I don't want to be responsible for getting, you know, a group of people sick. That's what I'm getting and, at. They, they're just, and, you know, it, it just takes. And, and I love. And I think at one of, I'm trying to remember what event it was that we were at, whether it was a health fair or something, and you were showing off how easy germs spread with the stuff yeah. that goes under the light. Yeah. And I mean. COVID is worse. Right. <laughs> right. It's aerosol. It's, it, you were just going by when you touch something, then you see all the things that you touch that you don't even think about. I say, right. yeah, touch my face. I don't touch my face. But if I watch these shows over again, I probably see myself like this, you know? It, yeah. and, it, and that was just, the toughest thing that I had to learn when I, when I left the environmental business and got into public health because I, I, I'm a dweller. I, I touch my face all the time. And it's why I don't grow hair right here.